everyone at all, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my stream. Uh, first of all, I gotta ask, you are Neon. You know, we're adding another agent. I think at this point, everyone knows you can play every single agent in the game. Uh, why Neon, why you, and uh, how did you find it? Um, Optic gave us advice. Neon is uh, over overpowered on uh, Fracture, so we just told our, their strats. And obviously, we won because of that only. <laughs> but uh, jokes aside, uh somehow we just uh just try to check how i will play on neon well, just for only one day at the first prax i just like dig pretty hard like i pr play, played real poor on this uh, on this character but after maybe few prax and they started to do some pretty good moves so i started to play pretty well on uh, this character and uh with the uh, on the call, I said I I can play on new one and I can try to play it on official. So it is what it is. But if I say uh, I will not play on neon, you will see the uh, the default trace on uh, this on this map. Oh, oh okay. Um, in terms of uh, optic, I know you were making a joke, but have you watched much of uh, Victor's neon? Have you studied um, his? Not 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 that much because um, you know. In terms of Neon, it's hard to learn something from this character because uh, I think this is one of the characters that is uh, you need. You are like a fucking crazy guy <laughs> who's just running and pushing everything. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's really hard to learn on demos uh, how to play this character. So you should, uh, like, I don't know, maybe boost your game sense by yourself, only by yourself, like mm -hmm. uh, playing Prax or playing Rankets, but uh, Rankets is a pr uh, really, really bad idea to play on Neon. It's really, really hard because um, in uh, like official matches or in Prax, you have a team that can uh, play on uh, you. They can play uh, with a uh, really great support, but on Rankets, it's almost impossible because everyone playing by yourself and uh, it's pointless to train uh, Neon on <laughs> rank and say I, I I literally just I can uh, like tell some for for example uh, like I played some only one ranked and I just was destroyed by and I played with the score like four to twenty I think on sounds Neon, like me so, <laughs> and I stopped to play on rankets because it's uh, pretty shit experience I would yeah. tell. Doesn't doesn't really help you, does it? Like it's not it's not you can't learn anything from it. You guys heard it here from Chronicle. Don't be locking a neon in ranked, please. Um, play something else. Uh, I, I will say that obviously there's been a consistent evolution of your role. You know, like what you were playing in the beginning of this game. It looks very different to what you're playing now. And obviously, I think one of the things that we expected, maybe for the change of your role, is the departure of Defo. You know, without Defo, he was kind of the dedicated duelist. And it does seem like you're taking over his role. Would that be fair to say? And in terms of Defo, could you talk me a little bit more about, you know, why he, he was benched and so on? Mm, it's hard to tell because... Uh... Like, I don't want to, to tell right now why we just uh, benched him, but uh, it's not benched, we just kicked him because he's... Uh, we already, uh, like, uh, we, are, we are all free agent and we are, yeah. uh, he's just, uh, like, like he's on free road and he's uh, finding a new team, so he's not with us anymore. But I can tell the reason that we, in, in our team, uh, we, are all, we all can pop off. Uh, in uh, some matches, but uh, we need a stable duel list, and that's uh, uh, maybe one of the biggest reasons why we did this change. Is that you now? Are you the stable duelist now? Uh, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, I played only one match, uh, and uh, I, I can't predict that I'll play good or not, uh, but uh, this first match I think I play, uh, played it very well, re really well, because uh, you know, it's not that easy to jet diff uh, uh, against CNET. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, I'm pretty proud of myself that I did that. <laughs> you should but be. Who knows, but who knows, maybe in the next match against OG, I will just uh, pop off my 
uh, biggest 10 kills over the whole match and uh, I'll cry river because of that. <laughs> I've never seen you do that. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Um, I, I think you, sh <laughs> you should be proud. Not many people get to diff CNET on any maps really with any agents. Uh, now, in terms of uh, the new player, JD, um, why was JD added for you guys? Because obviously, if you wanted to a stable duelist, was there a reason why you didn't just find uh, like a duelist, like an aimer, like a cracked, like, you know, like an alpha year and, th and then bring him in? Uh, in uh, Navi, uh, where he played before uh, us, obviously, uh, he showed a great uh, potential on uh, support roles because he, I, as I remember, he played on Kayo on some like maybe Sky. I don't know. I, yeah. I want to check that. I want to check that. Because, it was Kayo. Uh, yeah, Kayo. He, he I, I want to check everything. Uh, okay. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> I can't check that because. Uh, <laughs> he played really, really, really long enough. Yeah, it was uh, it was a lot of KO. I do uh, remember the yeah, KO. He, he, yeah. he played Viper, KO, I see, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, obviously, he have a great potential on support and uh, Sentinel roles. So, uh, and also, he had a really great firepower. So, everyone who watched uh, Navi uh, in uh, March or like whatever else, like from uh, January to March, uh, everyone uh, seen that he's one of the star players in Navis, and uh, he when we just uh, practiced with him, when we chased uh, some players to uh, swap defo, and mm -hmm. he was one of the best, uh, if not uh, the best, uh, surely, and we decided to took him. Like great support, great firepower, uh, and uh, he's uh, popping off in uh, official matches, so we can we decided to take him. Makes sense. I think JD is a really good fit for you guys. Um, definitely showed that with his flexibility of agents as well today. Uh, in terms of you guys now being free agents, um, it, it was it, it kind of felt like it was inevitable, right? In terms of like the franchise, the future of Gambit, uh, it probably made sense for you guys to be free agents now. Does that make life harder for you guys? Obviously, now you're not on an org, you don't have that support. Um, where does that leave the future of you guys, at least the near future for LCQ and champions? It's even buff for me. I'm just uh, like making a uh, like uh, thing like I'm not in an organization. No one uh, just uh, keeping an eye on me, and I can play with less nerves. Like that's it. I ha hard to explain how I did uh, doing that, but it helps somehow. Oh. Uh, I'm I'm a strange guy. Like I'm giving. To, I'm like I don't know. I'm making the strange reasons why I should not be so nervous about the, my matches uh, I will play in the like uh, in the future, and I don't know how it helps me, but I'm playing pretty confident, so it is what it is. <laughs> um, do you see any of this like LCQ and stuff? Obviously, you're already very established, like. Every single player on your team, I think everyone in the world knows about your household names. But do you ever see these competitions as almost like, you know, like an audition for next year? Because I know you guys want to stay together, but there is a chance that you might not be able to stay together. So do, do you feel like, oh, I need to pop off because I need a, a big orc to notice me and sign me? Uh, yes, it's true. Like, um, if you, uh, I, I, I am the guy who just taking all the, like, all the paths, all the roads, uh, I can uh, like uh, uh, experience in the future. Like uh, it's obviously that we can uh, not qualify to champions, or uh, we can't be uh, like uh, signed by any organization who will be in the franchise. Uh, so I'm just uh, trying to maximize my profit. Like uh, I should play like the best game I can in the in these matches to show everyone that uh, I should be, or, or not should be, like uh, I'm one of the guys who deserve to be in the franchise leagues. So mm -hmm. it's obviously uh, works like that. If I, I, I if I will suck dick in every match on duelist, who will take me, obviously? <laughs> well, who, who, who the fuck will want me? I mean, it's, uh... that, that feels like a big risk though, right? Because you've just had a role change in like, this is one of the most important tournaments of your entire career, like you said. You, you got to make yourself look good. So does it not make it harder that you've had to change your role and become a duelist all of a sudden? Uh, right now, no. Uh, maybe 10, 10, 10 hours ago, maybe yes. Because <laughs> I, I, I'll try to explain that. Mm -hmm. Like, I played already maybe three or four matches on duelist role, like uh, after we swapped with the four uh, on roles uh, on the stage two. 
and uh, for this match with uh, against the Ascent. So I already showed that I can play on every role I can. Like, yeah. I played on Sentinels, I played on Smokers, I played on two list, I played on played, uh, play, 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 play. Uh, I played on every way check that <laughs> I can, and uh, I can do it very well. So right now, I don't have any pressure about that because I already showed that uh, if I will, um, like, failed on my on my mistakes, and if I will grind uh, the same like uh, grinded before. I will play really good on every character uh, my, if my team wants to. So... I, yeah. I, I made a joke earlier on stream. I said everyone in the world right now who's on a team is probably shitting themselves because they're like, oh my God, Nats and Chronicle are free agents. Like, I got to play better than them. Like, I cannot get dropped for Nats and Chronicle. Um, I think you're definitely going to be fine. Um, I, you don't have to answer this question if you don't want to, but obviously if the small chance that like, you can't stay together. Like you, maybe you have to go to a different org. Are there any teams in the world that you're looking at that you're like, hmm, you know, they, they, I could play for them or like, it could be interesting to go there. You know, like, you know, North American teams, EU teams, like any, any teams or orgs that you uh, you like the look of? Obviously, Bleed Esports, uh, <laughs> best organization ever. Whereas my 5 million buyout, uh, I hope they will do that. But obviously, no buyouts were all the free agents. <laughs> but that was a joke, like... <laughs> Anyways. But I don't know, it's hard to explain. Uh, like, uh, okay, Optic, Face Clan, uh, Barack Obama team. <laughs> wow, you want to go I... NA? Okay, <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> I do, in, in all seriousness, though, would you consider a move to NA? Because like, you gotta, you know, you have to like uproot your whole life and stuff. Is that viable for you? Is that is that realistic? Uh, um. About an A? Yeah. Like, uh, you as a team, like, do you think you guys... I, I, you know? I don't know. I can't bring abilities here or not. What do you mean? Uh, it's a hard to make a visa for uh, us in uh, America. Oh, I see. So it's, it's, hard, it's really hard. Like, there's a pretty good example of uh, Team Spirit in uh, Dota, mm -hmm. where uh, they spent uh, maybe 25,000 euro for making visa to USA. Oh, wow. And that's a pretty big sum, I think. And I I don't know who will help uh, me to do that. So for now, maybe the road to NA is closed for me mm -hmm. uh, until there will be a stable, like, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe a, a stable thing where I can do that. But mm -hmm. if you're talking about, to, talking about uh, Europe, it's pretty easy. Like, I, for my experience, like, I can maybe I can tell that that uh, when we was uh, just put it on transfer, like uh, where we still was in the org in the organization, but uh, uh, we are looking up for offers from other mm -hmm. orgs to buy out us. Uh, maybe uh, every organization like was scared about uh, is it hard for us to do a visa uh, to Europe, and I can tell that. Uh, uh, their thoughts are like maybe not true. Like for uh, Russians, not that hard uh, to make a visa with all the invites and all the permissions uh, mm. they had. So, so in Europe is doable, basically. Yes, yeah. Europe is doable. Like we say, we seen uh, Sogetsu, we seen uh, Shao. They did it. Uh, like in Sogetsu example, for example, he just made it in almost last days of group. So he mm. just. Charge up the uh, airport ticket to fly as fast as, as soon as possible to Copenhagen. But anyways, he did it. He did the visa, and uh, if you see, like it's possible. Uh, and uh, if a uh, riot helps, like he did, like he, they did it before, uh, it it's not be it will not be that hard. Sorry. Um, l last question, um, I guess. Is it fair for you to? I don't know if you can confirm this or deny this. Did you not? Did you guys not get offers um, from orgs to p pick you up all up as a team? Has has that not happened? Like oh, we we, we got. Uh, I can tell that we got offers. No, I'll not tell how oh, many and nice. uh, how much. Uh, but uh, we got. But uh, yay! I can I can explain two things why we still didn't sign up uh, with some organization. It's obviously like our. Uh, latest results on tournaments and also the current situation because of war, obviously. 
but you the, you know the chance of you staying together as five for next year is uh is doable it's high it's not like yeah, you have to split I, up. It, it's it's not that small chance that we'll stay as a team like uh i can't uh tell the some insights for you that uh who is watching uh, who, who's keeping eyes uh, eye on us but we can tell that uh if you play good on this tournament, if you qualify to champions, you can definitely see us uh, as, uh, in a franchise as a five. That's what we so. like to hear. Yes. Woohoo. Uh, but we hope so. <laughs> like, uh, you know, there's a still a small chance if you, uh, if you, everything I said will happen. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's still a small chance that uh, something will happen and oh. we'll not stay as a five. But don't, don't say that. Don't, don't put uh, that in I, my head. I, I, I don't want to jinx, but uh, it's uh, it's real true. Like mm. we can't like uh, see anything in the future, so yeah, is, uh, we'll we'll see. We'll honestly, we'll only see. It's not doom and gloom. And again, very important tournament for you guys. Um, you like you guys look great today. Thank you so much, Chronicle, for joining me, and uh, good luck in your next game against Oglu. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Have a good one.